so on the last project, which was the first project, we did a blinking LED. So here's the sketch for that. So with project two, it's about the same as project one. The layout is identical on the board. They just use a different LED color, which is pretty much irrelevant. What the real difference is, is going to be the, the sketch, which is the code for the Arduino. So this is the code for the, the last project, the project one blinking LED. And it's going to be really similar for project two, but let's go over what project one did. So we have a integer here, which sets LED pin to 10. And an integer is just a whole number, in our case, 10. So now every time we see LED pin, we're actually saying 10. We could replace this with 10, this with 10, this with 10. But it's much easier to remember LED pin or some other variable we set. So in the setup block, we set the pin mode to output, and then we go into the loop function. So after setup, we go into the loop function, which runs continuously. So we write to the LED pin high, which means turn up the voltage on that pin. Then we wait a second, and then we go low, which reduces the voltage, turning the LED off. So when you go high, it turns the LED on. When you go low, it goes off. Then you wait again. And then it goes back to the top and continues doing that forever, or until you unplug it. So we're going to go to Project 2 here, which is an SOS beacon, which uses the same layout as Project 1. However, the code, as you can see, is quite a bit longer and has some for loops and some more defined delays to do the SOS blinking pattern. So we're gonna go into a new sketch here and I'm gonna type this out just to give myself the experience. Except that because I'm lazy. So again we have LED pin as 10. Setup and we're going to set the pin mode for the 10th pin, which is LED pin, as output. And that's all the setup we need. And now we're going to create our loop here. Yes. So for int x equals 0. There we go. Yeah. While x is less than 3 increment x, and then we're going to be doing this in the for loop. So digital right, if I could spell digital, there we go. Let me pin, we'll go high. Oh dear, forgot to close that bracket. You'll also notice I'm doing a lot more spacing here. Uh, this should be fine. If it breaks something, I'll try removing it, but in my opinion, it looks a lot cleaner. Okay, so we're going to delay for 150 milliseconds. Digital right again. And we're going to go low. Then we're going to delay for 100 milliseconds. So that's the first S. Now we're going to do the O. Using this command here, pin mode. We So now we're going to do the O. Which is going to be digital right. I, then delay 400 milliseconds, then turn it off, then delay another 100 milliseconds. And apparently this is outside of a loop, we wait another 100, second, 100 milliseconds. Oh, so actually I missed this one. There's a delay here. So these are outside of the four loops. So it's waiting between, it's going to do an S, then wait an extra 100 milliseconds there. And then we're going to do S again. And we're just going to copy this because I'm not going to type it twice. And then we're going to wait five seconds. And then with any luck, that should work. So I'm going to try and upload that to my Arduino. So now it's plugged in and it's flashing with the previous project because I have not verified and 
Um, I think that orange thing there is fine. Looks like that's fine. So it, be, it says done compiling. Now I can upload. Now it's blinking in a SOS pattern with a five second delay at the end. 